But Dave McNeil, who's in that race, also a, a qualifier. So like we mentioned earlier, if you've got an A or a B and you win, you will be automatically nominated. If you come second and you have an A, you will also be automatically nominated. So there's very much potential here to put two people on to the team. We see them come around now in a waterfall star. That's Lou McAfee in the bright fluoro green there. Morgan McDonald in the white. And that's Pat Tiernan now slowly coming in. Two athletes on this 5K already on the team. Pat and Stewart selected from their runs at Zatapec where they came second and first respectively. Stewart taking the win. But at the moment it's Tiernan, McDonald, Swain. Sorry, McSwain. And then it's McNeil. And it looks like Jack Rayner there. And McEntee. And that's your first six at the moment. Now I'm going to do a quick little, quick little shout out quickly. Um, Tasmania. Their new uniform. I like it. The grey. The grey yeah. of Tasmania. Yeah. There's an athlete out there. See if we can get the uh, confirm the name of that athlete. Well, there is definitely someone out there, Dylan Evans in the. Yep, Dylan Evans. There he is out there in the grey Tasmanian uniform. Now, if you're out there on the socials, maybe you can uh, throw some comments in. And tell us what you think of the Tasmanian uniform. I'm I'm a big big fan. People may have liked the uh, the green and maroon of old. It wasn't my favourite uniform, color. but I really, really like this new one. Interesting colour combination. Now, these guys are really setting a solid pace here. Single file. Morgan McDonald wearing the, uh, the white and red of Wisconsin, where he's currently a student. And uh, running some very, very quick times, obviously. Obviously, that 13, 15 that he ran. And he's winning races this year too. He's great yep. performance at, at Hunter. Yep, he had a great run up at Hunter Track Classic. Got even got himself a B qualifier in that 1500. So he's part of that big, big group of athletes out there with Bs. But it's Pat Tiernan currently taking the pace. Out in front and leading this field. Yeah, probably the he's probably the most recent of, of runners. He ran a uh, on the eighth of Feb. Ran himself a three k out at uh, University of Queensland at the Queensland three k champs. Seven fifty eight, yep. so yep. pretty handy. Obviously, wanted when he come back from falls uh, get a race on the yep. legs already. So the first race isn't straight into the five k final. <laughs> As you can see, his pace is still on. Tell you what, it's really strung out this field. And that's the thing, when you come into these championships, you never know what's what's going to happen. So that's through the, that first kilometre there, 241.57 for Pat Tiernan. As they so make roll their way around. around. So 64s. Yeah, they fit a lap 1, 64, and 64.8, and 64.5. Now, I, I think they might be using bibs with chips inside them, yep. okay, to get these really, really fast. And, and Long Janes are here. So they're their official timing partner. They're here. They've set up. You'll see their, their clocks around the place. They're the official timers here. Uh, f they'll be here for the nomination trials and also the Commonwealth Games. Now, we've had a few, uh, few comments back about the uniform. Athletics Tasmania has appreciated the shout-out. Well, I hope they're happy with the uniform because uh, they did. They're going to have to wear it a long time. I exactly, exactly. And something I've just received two other messages. People just we're giving out. We've given out one shout out, and everyone else wants a shout out. Getting a bit greedy, but I'll I'll quickly do it. Alex Rowe got onto me. Wants a shout out. Alex has gone out there. What? So he's he gone and run his 800, and then now he wants a little bit more coverage. Not enough. Wants more airtime. Being the equal national record exactly. holder in 800. Not himself. No, not enough. Alex Beck. And Ian Dewhurst, the three of them, greedy. Oh. Greedy. 
Okay, well, so we've had 364s at the moment. The, the, this is your uh, five qualifiers, either A's or B's, and Jack Rayner there tucked in behind him. That's another 64-second lap. So they're pretty even at the moment. Um, out of that group, obviously, it's an A, an A, a B, an A, an A. And I'd say, Jack, the way he's been running, I wouldn't be surprised if he also got himself at least very close to that qualifying mark tonight. Yeah, and that's the thing. And it's an interesting one here. Obviously, the guys out there with the A, they just need to come one or two. It's Dave McNeil in this race. He's the one that needs to take the win because he's currently only got the B. So he needs a win to try and get himself an automatic nomination. And the thing is, it's, it's not as if he can't do it. He, he's, he can run. Oh, that most, fast. Most definitely he can run it's that just fast. In the period, he only has a beat at the moment, which the period did start January 1st, 2017. So it's been a long time. There are athletes that have had these qualifiers from a long time ago. As they go through again, we'll wait and see the splits from that race. As you can see them go around, a bit of deja vu going on here. This is, it seems like it's a Zatapec all over again. Tiernan, McSwain, McNeil. There's your first three. They've just, it's comfortable. They're in, ha they're in a habit. Exactly, exactly. And as they go around, it'll be interesting to see what happens is Tiernan going to do it all off the front. Is he going to do all the work or is anyone else sort of going to take their turn on the front? It will be very interesting. They're starting to... Uh, Drop Rainer at the moment as they come around through the second kilometre there, a 5.22. So they've been hitting 64s, getting a little bit quicker. That was almost a 63 on that last lap. So you can see why this pace might have started to drop some of these athletes as they come around to get six laps to go. 5.22 for that second 2K. Now, again, like we were saying, we've got, almost got ourselves into a group of four now. That was another 64 earlier. And this is three of our A qualifiers with Dave McNeil at B. So we could see, hopefully, two athletes automatically nominated. We do say nominated because we send the team to the CGA, to the Commonwealth Games Association. They have the rights to pick the team. The same as the Olympics. We send the team to the AOC. They select the team. When it's a world champs or a world juniors or anything, boom, we pick the team. You're we, off, mate. See you later. Team. You're in. Go and shake their hand at the end of the race. Yep. Congratulations. Here's your bus ticket. Here's your plane ticket, wherever you're going. Back in the day, it would have been the boat ticket. The boat ticket. There you go. You've got three months to get there. I hope you can find somewhere to train. Another 64 there as they go around. Very, very consistent running there. 80320 for that 3K. That... That could win a lot of state titles at 8.03. Jeez. And these boys have got another two Ks to go. It's impressive running out here. Now, I've just, uh, just had a, a word through. Now, I'm not going to call it official, but that's the word I'm getting. But Vanessa Lowe in the women's ambulant long jump has just broken the world record. Just broken the world record. Excellent. So we're getting we, reports we have from to, all over the place. Yeah, we might have to get... I'll try and find an official result so I can see it myself before I start calling it that. But we'll say, we'll, we'll just to save ourselves, we'll go, it's an unratified world record. Obviously, even, even um, Catherine Mitchell's javelin still hasn't been ratified yet. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. So she's hoping to get that confirmed. Her jab has weighed in in the legal weight. So that's step one. That's been done. Tick. Well, now they just have to measure the steel tape. 
at the the Ringwood track with the uh, I know it's interesting track. that you have to measure a tape measure, but with there, a tape is a, measure. there is a National Institute of Measurement. <laughs> I have sent a few tape measures down there. You know, to get recalibrated. They just scrub out the marks and they draw them all the centimetres back on again. Exactly. Apparently, she lost three centimetres from the, the plastic tape to the steel it tape. Was, it was. I thought it was 67, 61. It ended up coming 67, 58. So, you know, but... That was a 65-second lap, so just a little bit slower now. They're starting to lag. Um, when I say lag, that, that was one lap that was a little bit slower, so you know it's not exactly lagging. But we've got our group of four. It seems like we've, this is our group 10 and still doing a lot of work. They're starting to pick up some of the other runners. It is a big field, 20 athletes in this national championships here and selection nomination trial, sorry, for this Commonwealth Games. As we see, they come around with 1,200 metres left to go in this race. Uh, the still 66. doing it off the front. Still now, doing it so off the front. They've gone from seven laps of 64s down to a 65 and a 66. So we'll wait and see who's going to make the first move. Like, like we said before, it is Zatapeg all over again with Morgan McDonald there. Yeah, and, and this is a, it's an interesting dynamic. And I'm a, not a distance runner. I'm not anywhere near a distance runner. But... I, I do wonder sometimes when they get these guys get back to the locker room, is Tiernan just going to the others, what were you doing? Where was my help? You just let me all do it all on my own out in front, like, mate, and then you use me. If you want to lead, go for it. It's fair enough. I guess that's how we get tactical races, and it bunches up, and no one wants to take a lead, but exactly. it's good to see Patrick's gone out there. He's doing he did it all do this at the, the world moment. champs. Yeah, he did. This is exactly what he did, and... He right. felt like, this is my best chance. I can't win it in a kick down. So, you know what? I need to get in there and get amongst it. I remember seeing that. He was well off the front. Well off the front. But as we see them come down, two laps to go. metres to go. Might have seen some move. That was a 65. So they've brought it back down. They're starting to get a little bit quicker. 10, 47, 19 through that four kilometres. We'll wait and see what they can pull out. There's a 244 kilometre there, so it's still pretty even. Yeah. That was me and just doing a bit of maths work in my head there. They're not only giving us the totals, you know. Not a bad effort. It's tough up here in the box. It, it, and it's, it's just not... This is what it's going to be like at the Games. It's going to be hot and humid. It is. So this is... A, this is it's also, it, we say it's a test of it. It is literally what it will be like. It might be a little bit cooler, but... For these boys to actually get out there in these conditions and run a fast 5K, this is what it needs. Exactly, exactly. And there's the thing is that, obviously, this is perfect, almost perfect sprinting conditions. The body's still warm, but sometimes the distance runners do struggle in it. But these guys are actually, they're marching on through this one. They're going to come down, they're going to receive the bell from the official there. 12.22 as they cross through. That was a 62, so they've definitely started to wind it up. It's still Pat Tiernan out in front. He has an A qualifier. Stuart McSwain in second, A qualifier. Dave McNeil, B, Morgan McDonald, A. This is on the line, four positions. There's four there in the pack. We can only actually send three, if anything. Morgan McDonald now starting to make a move on the outside. He's been waiting and hiding at the back. Pat Tiernan still in front, trying to respond. Dave McNeil now moved up into third place. But Morg McDonald, he was sitting, there was times he looked like he might have dropped off the back of the pack. He is looking super strong now. It's going to be difficult as they start coming around athletes on the outside. Stuart McSwain now has moved into third place. Dave McNeil looks good. He needs to win to be automatically nominated. Morg McDonald starting to come through. He's closing the gap. But Morg McDonald in the white of Wisconsin University. He's driving away from the field. Stuart McSwain's trying to come back hard. But Morg McDonald... He's going to cross the line in first place, and he's going to be automatically nominated. 13-19, that's a brilliant last lap, a 56-5. 56, and the, big, and the big thing is, Dave McNeil, we'll have to wait for the official time, but Dave may be un, under the 13-22-60 that was needed, so he may have got himself an A and second place. He may himself have an automatic nomination. So we've got an official time, 13.19.05 for Moore McDonald. We are waiting to see. 13.19.51. got it. That's an A qualifier for Dave McNeil. You come second, you got an A, you're getting nominated. He gets his nomination.